Hi YouTube. This video is going to be about um, unboxing a uh, G-Shock Rangeman uh, 9400 series. Uh, this specific model is a GW 9400-3. It's a uh, military style um, green color. Um, this is going to be a real unboxing. I just got this today. So um, I just like put a piece of paper to just cover up the uh, address and and all this stuff. Uh, only got one shot, so I better get this right. <laughs> all right, um, here we go. Bear with me while I'm um, opening the uh, whole box. All right, um, I'm gonna um, go over the watch. Uh, I'm gonna talk about the specs gonna talk about the design a little bit and um, I'm also planning to uh, compare this uh, with the uh, G-Shock Riseman the, um, so alright uh, let's see yep I'm gonna compare it to G-Shock Riseman and also hopefully to the G-Shock Modman and um, you will see differences between when it comes to the functionality or um, design or the size of the watch. Alright, here we go. Excited. Alrighty, uh, GW9400-3CR. Um, this is the module number. Um, in one of my videos um, called G-Shock Talk, Cassie G-Shock Talks. Um, which is specifically about um, um, just uh, giving general information about G-Shocks. Um, it's actually really good for people who are just starting to, um, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, um, um, you know, building their collection. If um, if you you are, um, let's say that um, new to collecting G-Shocks and want some general information. Let's go ahead and check those videos out. Um, there are a few of them in there. Um, um, so I bought this online off of eBay. Uh, that's where I, I buy most of my G-Shocks, probably 99% of them. And um, I got this for a good deal, for a really great deal. Uh, these are originally are $300, um, the US version. Uh, yes, there are two different versions. One is US version, one is Japan. Um, th uh, this summer, I stopped by at the uh, Soho uh, Casio G-Shock uh, outlet store at New York. Um, they had these there. Um, they 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 come with uh, three. Um, they at that time they came with three different colors. One was like black, the standard. The other one was. Uh, uh, green, military green, and then also the third one was navy blue. They were going around, um, they were priced at $300, and of course you have to pay tax on it. But uh, I waited until I get a good deal off of eBay. Um, here you could see my receipt. Um, I got a lot, um, it was like on sale uh, with free shipping. So, um, you know, you buy it off of eBay, uh, you don't have to pay the tax to... Uh, most of the time, so $169 uh, versus the $300. Uh, <clears throat> Alrighty. Um, yep. So, let's open this. Let me put that away. Um, Alrighty. Um, you got uh, the manual here. Uh, it's a very thick manual. Um, I, I've watched the uh, unboxing videos before online. Um, uh, they were referring this as a big manual. Uh, they weren't kidding. It is really big. It's huge comparing to other uh, manuals. Um, I have a, a manual. Uh, from like one of my watches they just like all of them like this big but this one is like huge uh, probably different languages in there um, 
Let's see what else we got in here. Um, okay, some instructions about atomic timekeeping. Um, some general information, I guess. In Spanish, of course, in English. Instructions. Probably they come with like three different languages. First, first one is gonna be definitely English. Uh, then Spanish, and also <clears throat> I don't know what that language is, but three languages, three different languages, with module number thirty four ten. If you don't know what module number means, um, go ahead and check out my um, G-Shock talk video, the, the first part. I'll explain everything there. Okay, uh, now getting to the rest of it. Uh, flips over. Here we go. Um, okay. So, it's actually heavy comparing to other G-Shocks. This is gonna be your warranty box. I mean, um, your warranty booklet comes with a little piece in here. And let's see. Let's just open this up. Uh, international warranty card. And you have to like, yeah. I never, um, I've never used these before. Any kind of. Um, Warranty or anything like that before. Alright, nice, nice. Okay. Uh, comes in a um, small plastic bag. Let's open it up. Here we go. Brand new Casio G-Shock Range Man. Price tag $300. Like I said, I picked it up $469. Free shipping. Alright, um, that's actually really great in, in person. <laughs> um, better than what I was expecting. This specific model is um, US version. And um, I'll tell you in a minute that how you could um, tell this if it's whether a US version or um, Japanese version. Over here it says triple sensor. It is um, equipped with uh, three sensors. It's the actually first G-Shock in um, Casio's line that has three sensors uh, before they had them in I believe pathfinders or something in those lines that they had three sensors um, now this is the only G-Shock that has two sens I mean um, three sensors over here it says tough solar meaning that it will charge the battery <clears throat> um, off of the uh, natural light uh, whether it's you know sunlight or your uh, you know the environment and it'll just like pick up the light and then start charging it uh, charging the battery uh, the solar panel is installed on top of the module around it uh, not sure if you could see it or not you could see that like it has some like different lines uh, <clears throat> on that you know underneath the screen so that whole assembly is your solar panel uh, usually the batteries will last for 
um, eight months. I'm not sure how long would this specific one would last, uh, and that is um, the only time that actually when it's not exposed to any kind of light okay um, now this specific model the strap is a resin type strap um, the Japanese version has um, a um, carbon fiber strap so instead of like saying triple sensor It'll just like tell you that it's like a uh, carbon fiber. Uh, probably in here instead of uh, triple sensor. I can I can't recall um, at this moment. But um, so yes, they I have seen um, some of the Japanese version in this color with carbon fiber. Uh, usually, uh, well, when you open the strap. Uh, you will see that like the texture inside your strap is a little bit different um, carbon fiber usually just like feels smoother and they're also like known to be like lighter than like any other like um, similar materials I'm not saying it just, uh, saying that like making a big difference when it comes to the weight of the watch because most of your watch is here I mean most of the weight of the watch is here but it's just like the feel of it and it'll, um, you could also like I believe you could uh, like see saying like um, um, carbon fiber too as well um, so US versions are the regular ones if you try to buy one that comes with a um, you know carbon fiber strap uh, you, you're, you got, you're aiming at like over like $500 I think so yeah just the carbon fiber will just like cost you like over 100 150 200 dollars sometimes more um all right um well this button's gonna be your light um this specific model comes with a negative display um Meaning that the uh, negative display, when you, you see the display is dark and your digits are bright. Um, regular ones that, let's say this guy right here, this is a positive display and your digits are dark. And um, you can see the difference now. This specific one is a Modman. Uh, it has twin sensors, I believe. Um, Yep, uh, says right here, twin sensors. But this one has um, triple. You, on this job, you could see a stopper. Um, this will prevent your um, buckle holder to just like slide out. And um, back of your watch. Let's see what it says. Um, hmm. Casio. 3410 that's your module number GW 9400 steel back made in Thailand water resistant and shock resistant and you also you see a cat uh, wearing a uh, like a, a compass around his like arm um, top of it says range man this is what it's been nicknamed um, if you look at this, um, actually, um, it looks like something like straight from like Halo, <laughs> or like some like like a Batman would like wear it. <laughs> and if you like search it on Google, like some people actually like <laughs> will agree with my opinion. Um, uh, it's just like very really futuristic watch. Just the design, the whole design is like great and awesome. Especially with the latest technology, they could compact lots of features in this watch comparing to the old ones. You know, as the technology advances, uh, you, you like they build smaller transistors, and you know all these modules modules are like built of uh, transistors and stuff like that. So, so you get more features, and you know, in your watch, it's like more efficient. Um, G-Shock has actually improved its um, shock resistance technology in this watch 
Um, uh, so, um, some of the features of this watch is uh, it's a multiband six. Um, multiband six. Uh, you could you could see it right here. It says on top. What that means is um, basically there are six towers throughout the world. Uh, two of them in Europe, one in Germany, one in UK, uh, one in China, one in Japan. That's four so far. One in North America. That's five. And the uh, Geez, uh, where's the last one? I can't remember now off the top of my head. Uh, yeah, um, I, I, I think probably it'll be like two in Japan or two in um, North America. But anyways, that will pick up the, uh, the, you know, the most accurate time from the tower. All you have to do is just like set it up to the right uh, time zone and um, turn on the daytime saving to auto and it'll just like adjust your watch to the uh, uh, to the most accurate uh, second and also um, it'll take care of the um, day daylight saving time for you too as well um, it is solar like we said before um, so you don't really have to worry about changing the battery as long as you give it appropriate charge once in a while. And uh, um, triple sensor, uh, altimeter, barometer, thermometer, and compass. So it's like four like features but um they count them three so it's like thermometer and compass they're like um well altimeter and barometer they're um same and embedded in one uh sensor i believe according to the g-shocks website so there's altimeter slash barometer then thermometer and compass um more specs is uh, all right. Let me see. Uh, it's a shock resistant. It's a mod resistant case, and the buttons are sealed to prevent uh, any kind of mod getting into it. Um, this one is also a mod resistant too, as the name implies. It's from 9300 series. This one, specific one is a uh, 30th anniversary limited edition so it's 9330 instead of 9300 it's a really great watch um, if you put them to get um, close to each other let me see if I could uh, stoppers uh, there we go um, this guy is a little bit bigger than the range uh, than the mod man I believe this would be the largest G-Shot that I've, they um, well that's not really true um it, let me see my 56 uh gx there we go um yeah well this guy is the largest one <laughs> that i ever came up with but um i think this will be the second one <laughs> uh yeah it's it's huge though i like it um, on top of that, um, <clears throat> it's a 200 meter water resistant. It's low temperature resistant, up to negative 10 Celsius or 14 Fahrenheit. Uh, whereas uh, my wristwatch here is from 7900 uh, family. This guy is also a uh, uh, low temperature resistant but I think this guy will go uh, even less than 14 Fahrenheit but hey still you know um, 14 Fahrenheit and it's just like it's, it's like freezing <laughs> um, so uh, has an altimeter and uh, let's see what else Digital compass, uh, parameter, 
and thermometer. It has full auto LED, super illuminator, backlight with afterglow, um, 31 time zones, um, five alarms, countdown timer, sunrise, sunset, um, sorry, sunrise, sunset um, data. I'll display the sunrise time and the sunset time for a specific date which is really awesome uh, as a full auto calendar it's been pre-programmed uh, to 2099 and yeah according to um, gshock.com this guy weighs 93 grams Let's actually wait. Oh, no, I just yeah, it's not gonna be accurate. I need a um, bigger. Obviously, need a bigger. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, they were right. Ninety-three point six. Uh, yeah. You take this weight off. Hold on. Yeah. Yep, there you go. You take this weight off. It'll be just uh, 93. Alright. Um. <clears throat> now let me um, just bring this uh, Rise Man up here real quick. This guy. Uh, I think this is the successor of the Rise Man, if you will. Rise Man had um, has twin sensors. It will show you the temperature, barometer, and altimeter. Basically, it's a simple function. Will give you all the information and all those good stuff. Uh, versus this guy has lots of features. Uh, I believe it's like altimeter. This is the compass. Um, parameter. Actually, I like this better because they have, like I said, they have compact lots of features in this. Um, using this is a little bit tricky. But versus in this one, it'll just like tell you what it is. See, like this one you can like in the rise man you can't really tell like what is it like measuring but versus here so it will just like tell you it's altimeter compass and top and then barometer you see just will like tell you what is it like measuring um, yeah recall obviously cool Alright, let me see what else, uh, if you guys want to see this from close, this is from the 9200 series GW, um, it's with the uh, Dragon, Rise Man, and this guy here, um, give you guys a close shot. Yeah, I think they're like real metal or something. <laughs> um, it looks hefty. Well, this is, yeah, a big. Um, so bottom line, Range Man, I think, got everything <laughs> because. It got the features of the Rise Man, you know, altimeter, barometer, and thermometer. Uh, it is low temperature resistant, so so far two watches. Um, if you want to like talk design was a big one, it is big. So if you like bulky watches like this. 
and also it's a mod resistant which is the mod man so I would say this watch has like you know just like three and and one one is uh, yeah three and one <laughs> And so, imagine if you want to pick this up, it'll be like, what is it, uh, just the retail price, they're not available anymore, you have to like pay like a ridiculous amount of money, but 220 and I, like, when I bought this from Macy's, it was like 110 and then like, I bought this like off of Amazon for like 160 bucks, I believe, but the retail price was like higher, so... Yeah, you get a uh, three in one. Yep. Um, all right. So I think that'll do it. If you like the video, um, give it a thumbs up. Comments are welcome. I'll try to answer your questions. Um, if you guys have any questions, and if I know the answer, I'll definitely answer you guys back. Check out my G-Shock series talks. Um, where I talk about different G-Shocks and um, different aspects and all those good stuff. Uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and let me know how you like this and let me know if you guys are going to pick this up. Uh, this is definitely a, uh, a go for, um, I would say like for like military personnel or like police officers and you know as the name indicates it's a range man so if definitely you guys are going for like an inter going to a range or a gun range or shooting and stuff like that this is a uh, I think this is a must have especially you know slick design you know dark negative display these guys also come in um, yellow they call it like lightning yellow it's a um, anniversary 30th anniversary lightning yellow the Japanese version but like I said if you know if you're like police officer or like a uh, you know part of the military this will be better than like you know picking up a uh, yellow and you know shiny watch uh, yep alrighty hope you guys enjoyed it alright thanks